All right, so everyone's been telling you that AI is gonna kill software development jobs, but I think they've got it wrong. And I'm throwing my bet in with the trends that I'm seeing. So just this week, Okta CEO called the idea that we need fewer developers in the future laughable. And he's not alone. After 25 years in the industry, I've witnessed every developer killer technology come and go from no code to low code to web three. Like I, I've seen it over and over again. And develop and development man developer demand just keeps only growing higher. Now I know we've seen a rough couple of years, but this is more because of weirdness in the markets. But over the next five years, I think we're going to see an explosion in software development jobs. And today I'm gonna to tell you exactly why and how you can position yourself to ride this next wave. So let's dive in today. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thomason here at Startup Hack. I love trained software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as build custom software solutions for companies. With over a decade as ex of ex executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, so let's jump over to this article here first because I think this is really interesting. So. Uh, you know, some of us in the quieter and the trenches have been saying this for a while, but Okta CEO says that it's laughable and that AI won't replace software engineering despite other tech leaders' predictions. So Okta CEO Todd McKinnon is confident there will be more working software engineers working in five years than there are now. I agree with this wholeheartedly. He's the CEO of a $15 billion identity and access management firm, Okta. And other like other tech leaders who predict AI will lead to fewer software engineers, McKinnon thinks the tech will lead to more employment instead. Let's go through a couple of the pieces here, right? He said, I just laugh every time I hear about it, Okta CEO Todd McKinnon told Business Insider Tuesday. This whole, we're gonna have fewer software engineers, it's laughable. He says, in five years, there will be more software engineers. He, he disputed the idea that demand for software engineers will wane as AI coding capabilities grow. He said, the more software engineers were needed in every era of advancement in technology industry, from the rise of PC to the growth of mobile phones, and while AI can tackle the grunt work, engineers will level up to designing systems and handling more complex problems. Now, if you don't think this guy knows what he's talking about, the guy's running like the standard, what is the standard for uh, identity service and sign-ins. So if you just wanna slap a sign-in onto your app, you're gonna go use Okta, right? So Okta knows connectivity of systems. So I'm with him here, right? He explains it with every technological advance from compilers to mobile devices, we've seen software engineering, engineering jobs multiply, not diminish. So this is a massive reversal from the doom and gloom predictions that we're hearing just months ago from these same executives. Executives. Now, Sam Altman has shifted from saying AI would replace developers to now say he wants to 10x developers. And even Bill Gates is now claiming that software field is simply too complex for AI to handle without human engineers. So the irony is that AI is actually making it more complex to integrate systems, not less. So we're actually needing more software developers to implement all this AI that everybody said was gonna implement itself, right? So when technologies uh, make developers more productive, companies don't hire fewer, they build more ambitious projects with the same team size. Sam Altman now predicts that AI will make coders 10x more productive, right? So this pro productivity boost means that a single developer might soon deliver what previously required an entire team, but that just means they're gonna continue to accelerate, right? I know every software development team that I've worked for, as soon as they get a little taste of it, they want more and more and more. I've never been in a software development project where they get into it and they're like, that's great, we're done, ever. Like 25 years of software development. So. I've never heard a CEO say, we have too many features. Let's build fewer things next year, right? Instead, it just becomes, you know, software development becomes this crack cocaine that just becomes this addiction, right? So instead of this productivity revolution, we'll unleash a torrent of new software possibilities that were previously too expensive or too time consuming to pursue. So just like previous product advancements in software development, this will help create a surge in demand for engineers who can level, leverage these new capabilities. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, let us help you out because our specialty here at Startup Hack is connecting systems. So reach out to us at startuphack.com slash Spencer because we'd love to help. So despite the hype, AI coding tools aren't replacing developers partly because they're, they have serious reliability issues when used without human oversight. So there's a hilarious example that went by, viral recently about a developer, Daniel Nugent, who asked ChatGPT to create a simple list of numbers from 1 to 20, and it confidently skipped the number 14 without noticing. Now even more telling, when pointed out, 
out that AI insisted 14 was there, showcasing the fundamental challenge of AI read, uh, reliability versus capability. So this reliability problems becomes exponentially worse when dealing with complex interconnected systems rather than isolated SNPs. So could ChatGPT spin up a, a app that sits there by itself and is a calculator app? Yeah, probably. But now try to get that calculator app to connect to your servers, good luck. Companies that rush to replace developers with AI have painfully discovered that AI generated code requires more debugging and maintenance than human written code. So my developer team now use AI as a powerful assistant rather than replacement, right? So Todd McKin McKinnon from Okta made another brilliant point. He said, there's infinite demand for automation across every industry, far outpacing the efficiency gains from AI. So McKinnon predicts companies like Okta, Microsoft, Meta, and Salesforce will all have more software developers in the near future not fewer. Now, there's a lot of people who are also saying that some of the comments that we're hearing from Salesforce is actually just a smoke screen to just go and try to shift their sales, their uh, software developers to offshore. So we're not just building the same software faster. We're entering an era where, ent where entire new categories of software become possible. So I've watched this pattern repeat throughout my career. Better tools don't reduce jobs. They enable us to solve previously impossible problems. So just as the iPhone created millions of app development jobs that didn't exist before, AI AI tools will spawn entirely new uh, software ecosystems we just can't even imagine yet. Now, the most valuable skills in software development have never been about typing code, and that's one of the fundamental things that they're getting that these you're, this hype you're get, hearing about is getting wrong. They're about understanding problems and designing solutions. Companies are discovering that even if AI can generate lines of code, it can't replace the critical thinking needed to determine what should be built in the first place. So I tell my developers all the time the best code they can write is often no code at all, finding elegant, simple solutions rather than complex ones. AI tools excel at generating boilerplate. And repetitive patterns, but they struggle with higher level architecture and design decisions. So this creates a perfect partnership where AI handles mundane aspects while developers focus on creative strategic elements. Um, so every major technological advance in history has created more jobs than it eliminated. It's a fundamental pattern of innovation. When the PC revolution happened, pessimists predicted massive job loss, but instead we saw an explosion of new job category. The same happened with the internet, mobile devices, and cloud computing. Each wave created more tech jobs than before. McKinnon points out that tools like compilers and debugging tools didn't reduce developer jobs. They multiplied them by making software development more accessible. So when everybody said that we were going from C and C++ to these higher level languages. They said, oh, it's going to make programming obsolete because everybody will be able to write code. Still hasn't happened, right? AI is not any different. AI tools are following the same pattern. They're lowering the barriers to entry while simultaneously raising the ceiling of what's possible. This dual effect creates more entry level positions while also increasing demand for expert developers who tackle increasingly complex challenge. Now, if your company is looking to train new developers or to level up your existing team skills, reach out to us because here at Startup Pack, we are a licensed software coding bootcamp that we can help and have mentors on staff to be able to help train your developers faster. Check out startuppack.com and you can get into our coding bootcamps, which we're getting most qualified by government funding. Now, McKinnon offered a brilliant brilliant analogy. Assuming that AI means fewer developers is like assuming that the iPhone meant no new communication apps would be needed. Instead, we got platforms like Snapchat, which McKinnon pointed out seemed like a random concept that grew into a major platform. So throughout my career, I've watched supposedly complete software categories give birth to entirely new product ecosystems. AI will similarly spawn new software categories we can't yet even understand. So there's a fascinating post on Less Wrong titled Recent AI Model pro uh, Progress Feels Mostly Like Crud. So it reveals the gap between AI benchmark scores and real world usefulness. Security engineers trying to use the AI, trying to use the latest AI models to scan code bases found that despite impressive benchmark uh, scores, newer models were often worse at real world tasks. This exposes a critical truth. AI progress is heavily optimized for specific benchmarks rather than general capability improvements. Having built and tested countless systems over my career, I can tell you that benchmarks never tell the full story. The most useful AI tools for developers are focused on specific tasks, well-defined tasks, rather than promising general coding capabilities. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, make sure you reach out because here at Startup Pack, our special 
specialty is connecting systems. So reach out because we'd love to help you. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. Now, despite some of the tech layoffs, the underlying trajectory for software development jobs remained strongly positive across industries. The Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics still projects software developer jobs to grow much faster than average over the next decade. What we're seeing isn't a reduction in developer demand. It's a shift in where those jobs are appearing. So I'm sure everybody's seen the Indeed chart that shows the drop off from software development jobs. What it's not showing is the increase in AI engineering jobs. And so there's just a shift in some of these software development jobs and some of the titles. My clients come across healthcare, finance, manufacturing, and retail. All are expanding their development teams, not shrinking them. So this diffusion of software jobs across the entire economy creates tremendous opportunity for developers. Now, one of the biggest limitations of AI coding tools is understanding how different systems interact and integrate to each other. So AI might generate a functional API endpoint, but it struggles to understand how that endpoint fits into a complex complex ecosystem. So the most valuable developers are increasingly those who can design coherent systems that work reliably across multiple boundaries and contexts. I, I don't know, I can't think of a single system that I built over the last 10 years that didn't connect to something. So learn about interconnectability. Now developers who embrace AI tools rather than fear them are positioning themselves for exceptional career growth. I'm seeing a growing gap between AI augmented developers who can develop a lot more value and those who work the old way. So learning to effectively prompt, guide, and verify AI-generated code is becoming a critical skill, but you cannot trust it. Developers on my team who've mastered AI drive a lot faster, but they're still at the steering wheel. So the early adopters of this augmented development approach are already working and to command premium salaries. So there's never a better time to enter software development than today, despite the pessimistic headlines and temporary hiring slowdowns. Those hiring slowdowns are still from the glut of the free money that came in during COVID. Software development comes when interest rates go go down. This is simple. It, you can follow these patterns over and over again. So the skill gap in software development is widening, not shrinking. So traditional coding boot camps that teach only syntax aren't going to help. You need to be able to get hands-on training, which is what's offered here at Startup Hack. So the next five years, we'll see an explosion of developer jobs that combine human creativity and judgment with AI-powered productivity in a way we're just now beginning to see. Now, what are your thoughts? The best compliment I can get is when you like and subscribe to the channel and when you leave me a comment. So leave me a comment down below, if nothing else, just to say hi or you say I'm wrong. Like, I love to have a great, healthy discussion and I answer all the comments personally. So reach out to me here at Startup Pack. We love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps and build custom software solutions for companies. We especially love to focus on building new AI agents. So make sure you hit some of our previous, uh, some of the previous videos because I've given tons of free coding samples out there. And check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. And here's some great information about our coding boot camps. Want to become a software developer but don't want to spend four years in college and rack up massive student loan debts? Think you need technical expertise to get started? Welcome to Startup Hack, a better way to start your software career without student loans and years without income. One-on-one -on -one tutoring is included so you never get stuck and have guidance through the whole process. No technical experience is necessary. Learn at your own pace and in your own space. Startup Hack has worked with local state agencies in your area to make it so that qualifying students can get the program costs covered entirely and students can start earning while they learn. Startup Hack's .NET Coding Bootcamp was a game changer for my career. As someone with no prior programming experience, I was initially intimidated by the idea of learning to code. But the instructors at Startup Hack broke down complex concepts into easy to understand lessons and provided hands-on projects that really cemented my understanding. The curriculum was comprehensive and up-to-date and got me ready for my first job. What really set Startup Hack apart was to focus on practical, real-world skills. Thanks to Startup Hack, I landed my dream job as a .NET developer within weeks of graduating. I went from knowing nothing about code to building professional grade web applications in just a few intense months. If you're looking to break into .NET development or level up your coding skills, I cannot recommend Startup Hack enough. Complete our three month coding bootcamp, gain hands on experience, and land a paid internship. With two years of experience, on average, our graduates are making over $80,000 per year. The three month program. Quick path to earning. Check out startuphack.com to code your future and start today.